In this part, we shall see some more turning points in the information world. First in this list is Boolean algebra and logic gates. Boole developed binary algebra and also known as Boolean algebra. Computers operate on binary and everything in binary math. To understand anything about computer hardware, it is important to know about Boolean algebra as all the computational chips work on this principle of binary logic. A logic gate is a very small form of a fence door or a switch. When the door is closed or the switch is closed in the circuit, you can send electricity from one end to the next and the value is denoted as 1. If it is open, the electricity does not pass. The value is denoted as 0. The computer chips are made in such a way so as to follow this mechanism to carry out the operations. All operations thus have to be encoded in binary language and for computation it is specifically called as assembly language. In assembly language, every instruction is broken down into and become a series of zeros and ones to be fed through as input and received as the output. As the time passed, these gates got not only faster to open and close as well as smaller and smaller and smarter to manufacture. A simplified version and pictorial representation of Boolean algebra is shown below and the gates are also displayed here. The invention of vacuum tubes is considered to be the most important part in the information world as it allowed to incorporate the electronic system. A vacuum tube consists of two or more electrodes in a vacuum inside an airtight envelope. The device controls electric current flow in a high vacuum space in case inside the tube between electrodes to which the electric potential difference has been applied. The simplest vacuum tube is a diode containing only a heated electron emitting cathode and an anode. Electrons can only flow in one direction through the device from the cathode to the anode. This was an important prerequisite to make electronic gates or electrically controlled switches in a computer hardware. These devices become a key component of electronic circuits for the first half of the 20th century. These were crucial to the development of radio, television, radar, sound recording and reproduction, long distance telephone networks and analog and early digital computers until the advent of semiconductor materials in 1940s. Electromechanical tabulating machine was the first automatic card feed mechanism for punching cards. Hollerith invented this machine, also the first key punch machine to produce punching cards meant for input of data to the machine for processing and output of the results as well. Thus, the machine became a systematized computer input-output machine and marks the beginning of the era of semi-automatic data processing system. Hollerith upgraded the idea of punching cards for the information storage to create a punching card tabulating machine to input data for 1890s US census. Following his success, he founded Tabulating Machine Company and later expanded the same to Computing, Tabulating and Recording Company which was renamed to IBM or International Business Machines in 1924. An important part in the information world was development of theoretical computation and algorithms. Standard terminologies such as Turing complete, computationally universal, and Turing equivalence attributed after Alan Turing's work and accomplishments on theoretical computation is considered to be an important turning point. Alan Turing is known for wartime code breaking, particularly that of German ciphers encrypted by Enigma and creating an electromechanical device called Bombay. And a replica of the same is shown in the picture below. He worked on the design of automatic computing engine and created a blueprint for the storage programmable computers. But the machine was never built. However, the model concept was adopted by many tech companies worldwide. He proposed an important experiment called Turing Test for the tech industry to standardize their new application equipments. His work on theoretical computer science led to the foundation of Turing machine, which was considered to be a model for the then upcoming general purpose computers. Turing complete, computationally universal and Turing equivalence are the terms coined after his name. 
which are used to describe the computational power of a computational system such as an abstract machine or a programmable language a computational system that can compute every turing computable function is called turing complete a system is called turing equivalent if every function it can compute is also turing computable that is it computes precisely the same class of functions as do the turing machines the term computationally universal is used with respect to a turing complete class of systems that is it can compute every function computable by systems in that class or can simulate each of those systems john atanasoff and clifford berry a team of a professor and his graduate student completed the first all electronic computer called abc or atanasoff berry computer in the basement of the physics building at iowa state college during 1939 to 42 The machine was however the first to implement the three critical ideas that are still part of every modern computer that is using binary digits to represent all numbers and data performing all calculation using electronic rather than wheels ratchets or mechanical switches organizing a system in which computation and memory are separated but the machine was not turing complete computer Conrad Zuse was a civil engineer. He worked remarkably in both the fields, namely inventing a modern computer and a helix tower for new era building designs. His first programmable computer was Z3. It was a Turing complete machine capable of computing all possible outcomes of a standard set of calculations, but it lacked conditional branching. His other contributions include development of high level programming language, plan calculus, high precision large format plotters namely graphomat z64 z90 and z904 z1 consisted some 30000 metal parts and had limited workability it was revised to z2 using telephone relays and further upgraded to z3 which was a binary 22 bit floating point calculator featuring programmability with loops but without conditional jumps It also had a memory and a calculation unit. The calculation unit was largely made up of telephone relays mainly collected from the discarded stocks. Zuse also built S1 and S2 computing machines which computed aerodynamics corrections to the wings of radio control flying bombs. S2 had an additional feature of integrated analog to digital converter under program control making it the first process controlled computer. Zuse helix tower was a lightweight construction mechanism. The helix tower is a mechanical, continuously extendable and retractable height adjustable tower construction. He intended this tower to be used for wind power installations, observation and radio transmission. One of the verification of Zuse ideas is the first automated disassembly of two high-rise buildings in the downtown of Tokyo in 2008. Here is a picture of simulation and pilot test of new automated construction method. An automated system assembles the floor in the ground floor level and then the hydraulic presses raise the floors and the building step by step to make a tower. Here is another picture of Emirat construction strategy for floor wise up pushing of the whole building in Kajima, Japan. Here you can watch the YouTube video on the helix tower and its working mechanism.
Inspired by Charles Babbage's difference engine during his doctoral research, Howard envisioned an electromechanical computing device that could do much of the tedious work, that is operating the complex mathematical operations such as differential equations. This computer was originally called as ASCC or Automatic Sequence Controlled Calculator and later on he renamed this as Harvard Mark I. He also developed 2421 code also called as Aiken code. It was a complementary to binary coded decimal or BCD code. It was a group of four bits assigned to the decimal digits from 0 to 9 as shown in the picture on the left and is still used today in digital clocks, pocket calculators and similar devices. Aiken found funding from IBM as well as engineering and construction assistance for his work on Mark I, which he completed and installed in Harvard University lab in 1944. Later on, he built Harvard Mark II, III, and IV. Mark III used some electronic components, and Mark IV was the all-electronic machine. The two used magnetic drum memory, and Mark IV used magnetic core memory. We shall see this in detail in our later lectures. Below are the pictures of Harvard IBM Mark I computer, the close input and output control readers, and the program readers and the automatic typewriters. Mark I was used with 750,000 parts. It could do three additions or subtractions in a second, a multiplication in six seconds, a division in 15.3 seconds, and a logarithmic or a trigonometric function over a minute. Mark I read its instructions from a 24 channel punched paper tape it could execute a current instruction and then read into the next one. A separate tape could contain numbers for input, but the tape formats were not interchangeable. The machine used 500 miles or 800 km of wire with 3 million connections, 3,500 multiple relays with 35,000 contacts, 2,225 counters, 1464 tinapple switches and tires of 72 adding machines each with 23 significant numbers. It was indeed the industry's largest electromechanical calculator. We shall now continue to part 11 and last part of this lecture.